All right, guys, welcome back to the channel again. So on this episode here, we're gonna learn how to make dovetails using the uh, Harbor Freight dovetail machine. I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, so this is what we're gonna be making right here, the dovetails for our drawers that we're working on. So uh, stay tuned, we appreciate you watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and share the videos, and thank you. And also, we're working on that dress right now, but I wanna go ahead and make a little side video to show you how um, set up the Harbor Freight dovetail machine here. So it's fairly simple. It can be, it can kind of be kind of complicated looking when you start looking at the instructions, but I'll uh, show you how to make it uh, a lot more simple on yourself so that you don't have to sit there and fight with some of the uh, numbers and stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna mark out our pieces here. So I label mine uh, front and back and side. And the uh, reason I do that is because, uh, see, I, I cut this one earlier and did it backwards, got it messed up. So make sure you mark your sides and back fronts so that you know which way they go in your in your jig. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark um, mark these ends to keep them together. So uh, I just use A, A here, and then B on these two corners, C and D on these two corners here. So that way when we get ready to put it in our jig, we keep the fork sides the uh, same. The part that's facing up here is going to be on the inside of the drawer. So when you put these in the, the jig, these will be up. The letter will be up. On your dovetail bit, what it what they're calling for is that you need to be 9 sixteenths of an inch above your base plate, okay? We're just going to set up our, our square here to 9 sixteenths and go off one of the sides here. And the way I like to do it is put it, set, set it flat here and just rotate it in. I just barely am touching right there. Okay. Now you're gonna have to adjust a little bit. This is actually probably a little more than nine sixteenths, but that's what worked out for me. So start start at nine sixteenths, and then and then make your first cut with some scrap wood, and then either adjust your bit up or down. Depends on if your your dovetails are too tight or too loose. You need you'll have to make that adjustment. Okay. But that's where you need to start with with nine sixteenths of an inch. All right. So whenever you put them into your uh, dovetail jig here. You always want to put the uh, front and back on the top, okay? We want to put them at the top, and so here, and it may match up your number. So here I've got letter D. So we're going to put that in there, and we'll leave it unclamped for now, and then I'm going to grab the other letter D. And this here, the D will go out, so the D, the, the side we mark goes up here, and then on this side will go out, away from the, fin away from the jig. So one of the first things we want to do is back off all these stops. Just all right, we got our stops all loosened up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to center this board here, this top board. We'll go ahead and loosen it off. We'll pull it on out here. You can either measure, I usually just eye it, looking at the uh, template here. I just eye it, but you want to center on this top part first, okay? So we're going to center it right there, and then we're going to slide this one here on the side. We'll slide it up. Make sure we're still... And then we'll tighten it down. All right, so I've got my top board in. I've got the fence slot up against it and I've got it centered between two of the templates here. So the next thing we're gonna do is just slide this back. <clears throat> so I just use a half inch uh, spacer. So the spacer we're gonna put up on top. So we're gonna put it in there, make sure it's tied up against the fence and then lock it, lock it in place, okay? So on your front board, you wanna make sure it's uh, flush and also flush on the top. And then we'll lock it in place, okay? So now we'll take the other side stop Slide it up tight there. 
Okay, so we, again, we put the top board in, centered it, used a uh, half inch offset, moved it over, and then put the bottom board in flush, slid the fence up and tightened it up against that, okay? So now we can pop the top board loose, pour the spacer out, and then slide that board, top board back up against the fence, and lock it in, lock it in place. The next step we wanna make sure is that from the front of the board to the front of the template here that we have one eighth of an inch. So uh, just verify you got one eighth of an inch. Uh, if you need to, it's these back knobs here to loosen up and adjust it and make sure it's uh, one eighth of an inch back, okay? So the next step is to um, adjust this fence here. So how we get that is uh, we'll move over to the router now. Okay, so the first measurement we need to take to get the uh, fence adjusted is we need to take a measurement from the center guide pin to the outside of the base plate, okay? So we're gonna take a measurement there, and uh, by, in my case, mine's three and a quarter inch, okay? Okay, I've downloaded this uh, fence adjustment table here. Um, so the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the width of our board, our material is five eighths of an inch, and come down this row here, we're gonna go down to three and a quarter. So five eighths plus three and a quarter, we need to set the fence back four and five sixteenths of an inch, okay? All right, so we're gonna take that four and five sixteenths of an inch, use our T-square, and uh, adjust this fence back and use these knobs here on the end to tighten it down. Okay, in this case, I already got mine set. So just make sure you adjust them on both sides. When you put these in, you wanna make sure that you're flush here on top and that your uh, boards are both up against the fence on both sides, okay? Um, and that you're, you don't have no gap in between the two boards just to here, all right? One of the other things we wanna make sure we, we watch for is that when we cut our drawer bottoms in, we want it to fall into one of these template slots here. I'm using some uh, bloom undermount drawer slides and I have to have a half an inch to the bottom of my drawer. So I've just marked out, I don't know if you can see that, but I've just marked out a half inch up and I did on both sides just to verify it didn't matter which side I use for the bottom. And I just wanna verify that that line and it does look like it does on both ends lines up in here so whenever i go we go to cut the uh so what that means is when we go to cut the bottom of the drawer is that our bot when we cut our dado in here that that cut's going to come into here and not into not into one of these ends here if we come into one of these ends here then we'll have a hole here that we'll have to fill so uh, we want to verify it's in there and it does look like it's in that spot. So, okay. Whenever I first start making my cut with my router, I like to score across the front with the router just to keep it from chipping out. So I'll take and instead of, instead of just going in through the template, I'll score across the front and then start cutting my uh, dovetails out. Do this you want to make sure you grab some scrap wood is the same thickness that your your drawers are going to be uh because you're going to have to make some adjustments on your your depth of your router bit to get a good tight fit so uh what you're looking for is a good tight fit we'll put these together so you're looking for some good tight joints here you can see here we're perfect flush uh this is going to come from the depth if you're too deep or too shallow that's where you're going to adjust that fence back a little bit to get it a little deeper, a little bit shallow, but that, that's dead on right there. You can't beat that, so. All right, guys, as you can see, cutting these dovetails is kind of a messy job. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and share these videos, and uh, here's a finished set of the 
George that we just did. So we appreciate you again and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye.